Hey guys, it's Mario and this is the first video of the new year. I want to take this time out to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channel. We're almost at 1400 subscribers and I couldn't be more grateful. I want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting, liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. It means a lot. Thank you again for the continued support and let's jump right into this video. As you could tell by the title of this video, I copped a new car and I'm gonna be showing you guys what's up with that. But before we even get started, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on what's been happening. So you guys must have been wondering why I haven't been posting, why there's no videos being uploaded for a couple months now. Well, I've just been doing a lot of personal stuff and um, with work and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I haven't been posting as much. But we're back now and I'm dedicated to push out as much videos as I can. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be pushing out a lot more content than I have been doing before. So stay tuned. So the main reason why I sold the car is because I was feeling for something different. Um, something that something that I could have looking good and actually having fun in it at the same time. I feel like the Civic, I did everything that I could do to it, including camber, paint, and actually switching the wheels like multiple times per year. Um, I'm feeling for something different, so I wanted to get in something rear wheel drive. So that brings us to what kind of car do I have? It was either in between. A 350Z or something else rear wheel drive. Um, I got this opportunity that came up and I jumped on it as soon as possible. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce a new car to you guys. is a 2007 BMW 335i. All right, so the car is a 2007 BMW 335i. It has a six-speed transmission and it's rear wheel drive. Uh, this car is pushing about 300 and some change horsepower, which gives us a lot of room for play. I just love the look of it. It just looks like a space coupe. So you guys probably are wondering what have I done to the car? Um, basically, since I got the car, I got it with some lowering springs, which have it sitting this low. It has that sleek look to it right now, but I have some plans that I'm gonna do to this car right here. So stay tuned for that. The car is on lowering springs, which have it sitting like this, as I said before. 
kind of gives it this aggressive look that I like. The car is tinted down with 5% tints all around. Can't really see inside of it, but that's the way I like it. If you guys know me, all my cars have dark tints. They also have a custom exhaust on it from the downpipes back. So this car did come with some downpipes and some intakes. Let me show you guys that real quick. So let's show you guys under the hood. It's kind of filthy, but we'll get this all cleaned up. So under the hood, basically we have intakes and on this side, you guys could see the aftermarket dump pipes right about here. So it has a rumble to it. I'm gonna let you guys hear that in a second. So since we're on the engine, I might as well tell you guys that the car is actually tuned. It's tuned on MHD, a MHD map. So I have a stage one tune on the car at the moment which makes me modify stuff like how much horsepower I want to push and also if I want like a burble tune or not. Yes, I did pick the burble tune option. So the car does backfire whenever I let go off of the gas. So that's a good thing. So for those of you who don't know how MHD works, it's basically just a OBD2 adapter. Let me take this out, show you guys real quick basically an OBD2 adapter that you plug in the OBD2 you merge it with the car and basically you buy whatever maps you think you want for the car you buy the map plug this in hook it up with your phone and you could tune the car you tune it to whatever power is compatible with the mod that you have on the car and then you go from there so you could push whatever amount of power you want just by building your car right and just buying this little tool right here basically plug and play tune on your phone and you hit the road so if any of you guys wondering what to get to tune your bmw this is the best bet mhd tuning let's show you guys the interior all right guys so this is the interior of the car Got my dirty boots over there. But it's literally clean. There's no rips in the seat, no rips anywhere on the, the door covers. Everything just mint. I will be getting a, a detail so all of this stuff look brand new again. But this is the interior. See the six speed gearbox, the shifter yeah so that's basically the inside all right so i'm gonna end this video it's basically a rundown on what's been happening and what's yet to come let me know in the comments below what you guys think i'm gonna do with this car am i gonna stance it or am i gonna race it let me know in the comments down below so to close out this video i'm gonna give you guys a little burnout clip so let's jump into that <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like this video go ahead give this video a fat thumbs up for me and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace